Hi, I'm Peter from Copy Parts, and I'm here with Andrea, the founder of Posado, to talk about this, the high extraction basket, which was recently launched in Greece at the World of Coffee. Firstly, Andrea, welcome. Thank you, it's nice to be here. It's been it's, uh, like almost beautiful to watch your brand develop from a Tampa all the way now yeah. to a brand that you're seeing all over the world. Like, I know for you, you probably don't feel it, but everywhere I go, I'm now starting to see Posado here, there, Tampa's. Mm. It's been a pleasure to watch. Thank you so much. That's that's great to hear. And yeah, I'm, I'm very proud of it. It's, it's going pretty good. And you know, the key to this is just doing stuff that you like. Yeah. Rather than, you know, focusing on other stuff, just if you like it, do it. And that's what we do here. <laughs> oh, I've seen it from day one. Yeah. Lucky we've been friends for a long time yeah. and it's kind of friends I'm working together makes it really interesting. But this basket, this basket is interesting. Do you want to explain to me the difference or the reason why this basket came about? Yeah, 100%. Um, what have we done here? We've uh, gone and played around with, uh, with the manufacturing of baskets. So we've been producing baskets for a long time and we've been doing this together with, uh, with IMS in Italy, that they produced this Pesado branded basket for us. When we developed this, we, we were into making something that was a quality product, it was a very consistent product. And uh, back in the years was like, you know, very forward in, in the technology used. Yeah. It still is, you know what I mean? Um, what you have in any normal baskets right now on the market is a sheet of metal that is 0.3 millimeters, yep. okay? What we've used to make the high extraction basket is actually something that is um, 1.1 millimeters. So it's a lot thicker. The machine that folds this, that, that produces the shape, is a totally machine, a totally different machine than, than what we use for this shape. Yeah. What we can achieve with the thicker metal is actually the same diameter here, the same diameter at the bottom. So you got a perfect cylinder. 58.7 millimeter at the top, 58.7 millimeter at the bottom. With this one here, because it's thinner, the metal will stretch. So you've got a 58.7 millimeter at the top, but at the bottom here, you're losing probably, you know, a good three or four millimeters yeah. on each side. What is the difference is the flow. So when the water is flowing on the edges here, it's actually getting restricted at the bottom. With this one, obviously, the water just flows freely because it's, it's free to go straight down. Yeah. Another massive difference is the way the holes are produced. So with this one here, you've got a machine that pushes the hole through, punches the hole in there, and then it polishes them on the other side. It's an absolutely uh, very tech technologically advanced process, and it's a very quick process of making holes. But with a thicker sheet, with a thicker metal, you're not able to use this kind of system. Yeah. You actually physically need to cut each one all individually. Yeah. So we're using a laser machine that cuts each hole separately, one by one, okay? By doing that, we can space them out exactly the way we want it. The CNC machine will just like cut it, each hole individually. And uh, yeah, we're playing with different kind of patterns, with different shapes, with different ideas. And we've come up with this one, which is like many circles, okay? And uh, all 0.3 of a millimeter wide. And the whole pattern is going all the way to the edge of the basket, pretty much as far as you can, as far as you can go to the edge there with pull holes. We put 1,999 holes. And the reason why we've done that, I mean, with this one here, you got like seven or 800 holes. The, the whole size, by the way, is the same, but the reason why we made more holes is because we want less restriction, okay? So what does it mean less restrictions? It means that we wanna restrict, we, wanna, we don't wanna restrict the flow of the water or the coffee coming through in the basket. Once you start using the high extraction yeah. basket compared to the normal basket, you will find that you need to go finer. Yeah. Why? If you were to just put water in this basket or this basket, the water is not likely to go through this one. Yeah. But with this one, it will flow almost yeah. freely. Yeah. Okay. So you are 100% in control of the flow without any restriction that is yeah. there. That's why you got to go finer. Yeah. All right? And after all the testing and all the cupping and all the experiments that we've done, we found that with this particular basket, you will have a higher extraction yield. So, and hence the name. That's the name, high extraction basket. Yeah, pretty simple. Pretty simple, but uh, yeah, interesting. And um, yeah, um, you know, 
pretty much you find that you gaining here a truthful flavor mm. i feel you know what i mean like you getting getting more extraction doesn't just mean getting like you know bitter or acidity you're just getting more out of the coffee you know what i mean it doesn't mean that you're over extracting that you're going bitter that's not the case because you're still getting the same amount of volume you're just juicing out more so what happens is let's say you have a milk coffee you would have like a 30 mils shot with this one that is 10 percent extraction okay and then you mix it with milk with this one you will have the same shot but it's 12 percent extraction so you got two percent more flavor mm -hmm. that will push through milk water or, or itself whatever you mix it with you know what i mean for your taste bud to evaluate so the question is do you want your coffee to be two percent more yeah or you don't yeah that's up to you one way to find out yeah maybe try one of each let's try one of each so we've got the two baskets here, the original and the high extraction, yep. both 20 grams and yep. we're running a two to one ratio. So 20 grams in, 40 grams out yep. in 30 seconds. That's right. Now with the higher extraction basket, we ground slightly finer we to have. compensate for the increase in flow. Yes, that's right. You need to do that. So we're going to put one in at a time. We've got our refractor meter yep. here and we'll see how it goes. See how it goes. It's looking good nice, to start yeah, with. It's, it's looking good, yep. No channeling. I mean, all the distributing tool that we've got, hopefully, you know, they mm -hmm. help mm -hmm. that good kind job. of side of the business. And beautiful. That's a very good extraction. That's 40 grams. Yep. And now, that was actually 33 seconds there. But we're very close. Yeah. Now we're going to run through the same with the higher extraction yep. basket. Now with this basket, we're not expecting the flow to be dead down the center no. because of the way the basket designed. That's right. Like this should pour differently than the other one. You're less likely to get the center stream of um, coffee coming through. You're more likely to get like drips and drops everywhere. So. You know, also we did go a little finer, as we said before. Why did we go finer? See how there's, there's drops everywhere? That's happening because there's no restriction. So the coffee is just coming out wherever, wherever it's going, wherever it's flowing, it's, it's coming out there, you know? Yep. Great. There you go. That so what we're doing now, 40.01. we've got here our trusted refractometer. And again, you know, we try to replicate this as honest as you know efficient as possible of course it would need some some serious setup you know what i mean a, a number of these shots not just one but this is the first shot that we did so we've mixed it up nicely okay and we just put a drop of our liquid there and we'll test that so that's reading how many solids we've got in the shot okay so this one's showing 10.4 okay so we'll put that back in there and uh, we'll wipe it clean so that we make sure there is no cross contamination. Ideally, you will want to have two different spoons, but I feel this is nice and neat already. And now we just mix in the other one up and we'll put it right there on the refractometer. Same coffee, more or less same time, same dosage. What do we have here? 11.62. Uh, we make tools that, you know what I mean, will help you uh, getting higher extraction. And um, yeah, you know what I mean? Taste them both and let us know which one you like. I find it actually interesting the different way it flows so differently from it being almost a, what you're used to, the drips coming out and coming to the center yep. to the flow just coming out wherever it wants to come. Yeah, hundred percent. Like it's just, you know, it's just the difference, the difference in the restriction, the difference in the flow is what makes the extraction grow. Yep. And on that note, if you've got a question for Andrea, or myself, but more than likely Andrea, because he's the one that knows everything about the basket. Let me know in the comments below. And like always, if this video has brought you value, hit that thumbs up. And if you haven't yet, please subscribe. Thank you and see you on the next video. Thank you.